In Final Cut Classic, we had a way that we were used to working. We had a job folder, and in that job folder, we had a project file. And when we when you'd launch that project file, you'd see your bins, and inside your bins, you'd have a sequence. And we've worked this way for a long time. Final Cut 10 works a little bit different. When you start a new job in Final Cut 10, it's going to create two folders on your hard drive. If you're using an external hard drive, it's going to place those folders in the root of your hard drive. If you're using your system drive, it'll put it in your movies folder. And those two folders are called the Final Cut Events and the Final Cut Projects. Now, the Final Cut Events project has your Final Cut event, and it also has your keyword collections. And your Final Cut Projects folder will have your Final Cut Projects. Now, to understand what these words mean, the best thing to do is to compare these words to Final Cut 7. So in Final Cut 7, you had a job folder, but in Final Cut 10, you have a Final Cut events folder and a projects folder. In Final Cut 7, you had a project, and in Final Cut 10, you have an event, and in 7, you had a bin, and Final Cut 10, you have your keyword collections, and in Final Cut 7, you have your sequence, and in Final Cut 10, you have your project. The real problem come for me was that they use the word project in two totally different ways. And if you take a good look at this still, this graphic, and kind of burn this into your head, it'll help you understand a little bit more about how to make the transition from 7 to 10.